Right, despite three quarters of Britons claiming they could spot a potential scam a mile away, the statistics would seem that Brits don't do enough to safeguard their data online. So is the best password manager a reliable solution? Welcome to the channel and I'm going to pit 1Password versus Keeper against one another to offer a trustworthy take on which one might be safe, right for you and within a reasonable price. <laughs> Starting with the pillar of any worthwhile password manager comparison, the security. More specifically, is 1Password safe or is Keeper safe? After about a month of testing each provider out, I can say that both password managers tick a lot of the security boxes. You've got the same end-to-end -end encryption, which isn't the most modern, but is still entirely unhackable. That and zero knowledge policies mean even the staff at Keeper and 1Password cannot view your passwords. Regarding independent audits by third parties, it's a very similar situation. Both providers are service organization control, that's SOC2 certified, which assesses five trust service principles. On the topic of 2FA, which is truly helpful to add an additional layer of security to the sign-in process, it is clear that Keeper has more functionality here. And although I didn't run into any issues myself, there have been some reports on Reddit and user reviews about 1Password's biometric options not being all that consistent. Consistent. Furthermore, one thing I truly like about Keeper is that it lets you erase all locally stored passwords at once. This can be a godsend if your device ends up in the wrong hands or it gets lost. So, at a first glance, despite neither being an open source password manager, both have the essentials I'd expect to keep my password safe. With good encryptions, two-factor authentication and frequent independent audits, things are looking good so far. Arguably, Keeper has a little more versatility, but 1Password isn't far behind at all. But there are big differences in what functionalities they both offer. First, in terms of everyday use and password management, there's a good amount of features here. Say I want to generate a password, I just head over here on 1Password, or on Keeper, I access this from here. Again, password generating is a straightforward affair. 1Password has a smart syllables option, which is cool, and with both, you can have a maximum character limit of 100. Madness or uttermost security, I guess there's a thin line. Though keep in mind your vault is only ever as safe as your master password and seen as a lot of the most popular passwords used across the UK in 2022 could be cracked in about one second, please make sure you're following the best practices when it comes to this one. There are importing and sharing capabilities all accessible with each provider right off the main dashboard. Keeper has a one-time sharing option which is device locked for extra protection. While using this feature I can customise the expiration date and the recipient doesn't even need to be a Keeper user either. One password has this too which is set by default or I can customise it anywhere from one hour to 30 days. Though it isn't device locked, it is restricted to the entered email address. But the 1Password family plan counteracts this by letting me share whole vaults with who I want to, a truly convenient function. Also in terms of how well these features work, 1Password feels kinda clumsy and during the testing acted up much more than Keeper. To give a little more info while testing the browser extensions, Keeper automatically entered all of my login details each time, whereas 1Password has slightly more clicks. I've got to click over here on the 1Password icon under the username and password field, click on the login item and click on search 1Password if it suggests more than one item. This is a small gripe from me, but the searching part feels like an unnecessary step when I'm in a rush. Looking at data storage, 1Password gives you unlimited passwords and one gigabyte of end-to-end -end encrypted storage space for notes and small files. Keeper, with its basic plan, gives you unlimited password storage, but the file size supported varies massively across plans, anywhere from 10 megabytes to 100 gigabytes. But looking past everyday use, where does the value really shine? 1Password has a pretty cool feature that lets me mark separate vault permissions to customise the access while travelling. Once set up, the travel sensitive vault will be hidden whenever I cross a border. Despite not using it every day, I appreciate the uniqueness of it still. It's a good idea. Then there's the Watchtower feature, which 1Password offers with all of their plans. This gives me an at glance overview of what needs to be strengthened, updated, or any information that might have been compromised. Keeper also has a similar tool and you can evaluate all your passwords. It helps you straighten the weakest links in your password ecosystem 
system, so it is convenient they both offer such functionalities, but Keeper's version doesn't come with all of their plans. And this is where we see a theme emerge, Keeper locking a lot of useful stuff behind an additional price tag. For instance, I like their Keeper chat function. This is super easy to set up and it's almost like WhatsApp, letting me send encrypted messages. That and the secure file storage are handy, but again, I don't like it when providers charge more for advanced stuff. It can give a mixed opinion and experience for different users. So, what's the takeaway here? Is 1Password better than Keeper? It really depends on what you favour. Both have all of the features I'd want to benefit from on a daily basis. Keeper is tight on controls and design, while 1Password is customisable and offers a lot of their features within the main plan. Speaking of learning curves, I've got some insights about the accessibility of each provider. But first, a quick side note. If you are considering one of these providers today, don't forget I always add the most exclusive deals down in the description. Right then, I was happy to see that both providers offer a good range of apps available on all major operating systems. However, in terms of browsers, Keeper does have more options, throwing the old faithful Internet Explorer and Opera into the mix. The installation process for apps or extensions is very smooth and quick for both password managers. However, the controls themselves of 1Password might take a little more time for a beginner, seeing as they are quite customizable and there's just more clicks to access a lot of the standard features. In terms of mobile apps, I don't have any big complaints. Note that Keeper sports different looks for each of theirs, but you'll find the same features as its desktop counterpart, regardless of your OS. With 1Password, I guess it's nice that they have kept a similar theme from desktop to mobile, meaning once you've got the hang of their navigation, you'll find it organized and modern on all devices. With all that is said, is it fair to answer yes to, is Keeper better than 1Password in relation to versatility? Keeper is just so smooth to use, auto filling fields, generating my passwords, and even the dashboard itself. Everything is designed with the beginner in mind. One password looks a bit more outdated, and as I mentioned, some daily tasks take more time than they should, but they offer a wide variety of apps for all users and have all of the main things I'd use regularly. If you don't like a change, you can switch from their desktop to mobile apps without a big difference, whereas Keeper has the same functionalities but it won't look the same. A really big consideration is affordability. As I said, if you just want a password manager to do the daily tasks, you might not want to spend a fortune, but keep in mind the value of what you'll get is greatly determined by the plan you choose. Looking at entry level plans fit for any type of beginner, 1Password just seems to have dollar pricing, but you can get the cheapest plan for just under $3 a month. With the current market conversion, you're looking at around about £2.50 a month there. That'll get you everything except the family features, which arguably, I think, are 1Password's biggest strengths, letting you customise who has access to which vaults and password folders really easily. This also amps the device limits from one to five per account. I'd say 1Password is much more affordable and worthwhile with this family plan, even in relation to Keeper's family bundle. On the other hand, on my Keeper review in terms of pricing is that it's the same price for the personal plan, around about £2.50 a month, and this comes with a lot of unlimited stuff as well as emergency access. Just remember, a lot of the shiny stuff I mentioned comes as an add-on, so it is separate from this plan. So they both are affordable within the password manager realm, it does just depend on the level of protection you're looking for. Sadly, Keeper or 1Password don't have free plans, but there are free trials without having to enter any card details. With 1Password, you get 14 days and in Keeper's 30 days free trial. Keeper also kind of allows you to keep using an extremely limited version of its password manager, but it's very, very restrictive. So ultimately, I'd strongly recommend going premium. And don't forget, I always add the best and exclusive YouTube deals I can find in the links down below. So check those before investing today. Now, if you take anything away from my video, just remember, recent research shows that 58% of Britons would prefer thieves swipe their car than nick their identity. So that's why getting the right protection for your online account is vital. Both of these managers are great tools with tight security practices, affordable plans, and all the tools you'll actually use. However, Keeper is just a better design. Working with it, it's smooth and you can app up the advanced functionalities if you want to pay more. One Password offers one of the best family plans on the market, despite their slightly older design. They are still a reliable pick with good compatibility. Which is the best password manager 2023 in your opinion? If you want more of these informative reviews or a full One Password review, 
keep an eye on my channel. I post regular content and don't forget you can find discounts for both providers in the description below and I'll see all of you in my next video.